He had a mind with a heart of its own. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Tom Petty songs. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll only be looking at material released by Petty as a solo artist or with the Heartbreakers. Though they produced some undeniably great songs, we're excluding offerings from Mud Crutch or the Traveling Wilburys. Everybody's got somebody to lean on. Number 10, Breakdown. It's alright if you love me. We start our list with the tune that put Petty and Company on the musical map. Sounding unlike anything that had come before it, this single stood out in an era of prog rock, Zeppelin, and disco. More importantly, however, it had that special quality and the catchiness necessary to make it an enduring classic. In fact, to this day, Breakdown still gets regular rotation on rock radio stations. Written by the singer during a short recording break, the moody tune wasn't a hit when it was first released, but it went on to be a top 40 hit in North America and a concert regular. You can walk out that door, baby, I don't mind, I can stand it, I can face it, I can live with it every day of my life, it don't make any difference at all to me, cause it's all right. Number nine, you don't know how it feels. Let me run with you tonight. Rife with Neil Young-style harmonica fills, electric piano, and stripped-down drums, this hit from Petty's second solo album is the perfect song for cruising along on a summer day. I woke up in between memory and a dream. Notable for featuring Steve Ferroni, who would soon become the drummer for Petty's main outlet, The Heartbreakers, this was the biggest hit off the album Wildflowers. However, because of a passing reference to drug use, it actually caused a stir with radio stations. So let's get to the point. Let's roll another joint. In the end, many outlets played a censored version of the song, replacing the word roll with hit or a version with the offending line distorted altogether. No, you don't know how it Number eight, learning to fly. I started out down a dirty road. Proving once again that all you really need is four chords and something to say. This song, co-written with fellow Wilbury and ELO frontman Jeff Lynne, topped the Billboard Album Rock Tracks chart in 1991, becoming the band's longest running number one, and achieved the extremely respectable position of number 28 on the Hot 100. Although not immediately apparent in the lyrics, Petty has said the song was inspired by the Gulf War. Once you have that in mind, you can see how the rock-melting and sky-burning psychedelic imagery came from news coverage of the time. Number seven, running down a dream. It was a beautiful day. Sun beat down. Co-written with Heartbreaker guitarist Mike Campbell and ELO's Jeff Lynne, this riff rocker hit the top of the Billboard album Rock Tracks chart and landed at number 23 on Canadian and American singles charts. Put the pedal down to make some time. The song not only showcases Petty's unique gifts as a lyricist, but also proves that Campbell has guitar chops to rival the best of them. With its tight rhythm track and scorching guitar work, Dream is unsurprisingly a live favorite, with only Refugee and American Girl receiving more plays. Mystery, 
even decades later, it continues to show up in film, video games, and television. I never want to lose this feeling. Number six, Into the Great Wide Open. They've moved into a place they both could afford. This title track from the album of the same name features the Beatles-esque production style of ELO's Jeff Lynne, who once again also co-wrote the track with Petty. In addition to being labeled as, quote, a return to form for the band and reaching the number four spot on Billboard's album Rock Tracks chart, this single also prompted one of the singer's best known videos. Thanks in no small part to the fact that Johnny Depp took the lead role. It's far more common in the rock genre for a song to get shortened for radio or music videos. Into the Great Wide Open was actually extended in length to accommodate the Julian Temple short epic. The more the better. Number five, Mary Jane's Last Dance. She grew up in Indiana town, had a good looking mom, who never was around. Although the roots of this song go back to the Full Moon Fever album, the song was finally completed and recorded for inclusion on Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers' Greatest Hits album. It earned its right to be there soon after, hitting number one on the album Rock Tracks chart and a solid 14 on the Hot 100 when released as a single. The last Heartbreakers recording to feature drummer Stan Lynch, who left the group in 1994. This is another Tom Petty song that prompted a memorable video featuring a Hollywood star. However, despite rumors, the song is not a reference to marijuana use and was written with the working title, Indiana Girl. Number four, I Won't Back Down. Well, I won't back down. Pro tip, any musicians looking to make it in the music industry should attempt to befriend Jeff Lynne, Petty's frequent collaborator. Just saying. The Wilbury co-write hit number one on the Billboard album Rock Tracks chart, 12 on the Hot 100, and 29 on the Modern Rock chart. Far cooler though, it features a genuine Beatle in the form of George Harrison. And yes, while Ringo does man the traps in the video, Starr does not in fact play on the track, although he would appear on later Petty songs. Number three, Refugee. As the story goes, this song was originally written by Mike Campbell as a simple jam track to practice blues licks over, but the guitarist soon realized he was onto something bigger. Once the tune was presented to Petty, the singer wrote a set of lyrics in a matter of minutes, with the overall feel of the song reflecting the troubles the band was having with their record company at the time. When released as a single, it hit number 15 on the Billboard Hot 100 and cemented Tom Petty and his crew firmly in the public eye. Talk about 10 minutes of work very well spent. Number two, American Girl. Pop quiz. Who plays the 12-string guitar on this one? Answer, no one. Channeling Bo Diddley and sounding so much like the birds that one might have thought they wrote it, this original was an instant classic and remains Petty's most played live song. She was an American girl. Bird guitarist Roger McGuinn himself became the first of a long list of people to cover the track, with even the Strokes confessing to lifting the riff for their hit Last Night. 
The story behind the song's lyrics, meanwhile, has morphed into an oft-repeated but untrue urban legend about a teen suicide. Whatever it's about, it's an unforgettably frenetic track and a petty staple. She was Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, Free Fallen. It's a long day, living in Taking our top spot is Tom Petty's signature solo hit. Once again, this track was written with the help of Jeff Lynne, and Petty cited the creative process behind it as a relaxed and casual one. Many of the verse lyrics were ad-libbed in the demoing stage while Lynne supplied the hook and title. An ode to California life and the pursuit of freedom, this song paints a picture like few others. It certainly connected with fans, as the tune hit number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1990, and has also been covered by a variety of artists including Keith Urban and John Mayer. Not bad for a song and an album recorded in a garage. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.